the leading cause of death in America was always heart disease. Now, we, with all the advances that we have made in America, cardiac stent, cardiac bypass, cholesterol medications, encouraging men and women out there to really go out and exercise, um, eating better, diets, knowing about our weights, and, and all the health awareness programs that are out there has reduced the risk of heart attack and heart disease. So men and women are now living longer, and as a result of this, the next player in the field that's going to be an issue for us is cancer. And we see cervical cancer, ovarian cancer, bladder cancer, prostate cancer, and so on and so forth. So that's one of the reasons why we need to be aware of screening. In the field of prostate and prostate health, um, we see that men in their early 50s, they will suffer from an enlarged prostate. Enlarged prostate, or another term for that, benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, is something that will affect about 14 million to 20 million American men out there. That's an incredible number of men that are going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, they have a lot of symptoms, and they think this is part of being getting older or, or uh, aging process. But you know, there are a lot of uh, treatment options that's available, but the first thing is for you to really know your symptoms. Benign prostatic hyperplasia or an enlarged prostate affects men in their 50s and 60s, about 50%. Once we get to our 70s and 80s, almost 80% 80 of men will have this enlarged prostate. So how do you know you have this? Well, you're going to be going to go to the bathroom frequently. You're not going to be emptying your bladder well. If you're the type of person that sits by the dinner and your friends are all there and you keep getting up in the middle of the dinner and you just have to go and go again, there is an enlarged prostate or some form of urinary issues that we need to deal with. Is there any burning when you urinate? Do you have urinary tract infections? There could be some hesitancy, you know, that it takes some time for you to start and at the end there could be some dribbling. All of these are signs and symptoms of an enlarged prostate. The one that I'm very concerned about are the ones that make people get up in the middle of the night, something called nocturia. What that means is that every two hours you're getting up to go to the bathroom. You know what that does to you? It will affect your entire system. Not only it will affect your uh, stress level, you're not sleeping well, and the new studies are showing that enlarged prostate and lack of sleep may affect your sexual function. So you see how this is all becoming like a circle and is affecting your health. When you're not sleeping enough, you will crave for more carbohydrate. You will get hungry. You wake up in the morning, you want to have that bagel and cream cheese and stuff yourself with that. And hence the cycle of obesity comes a sleep apnea. And the sooner we break this cycle, the better it is. Now, understanding that you have the symptoms and you have to see a doctor and a urologist is the first step. And that's my message to a lot of women out there, that if your man is getting up in the middle of the night, it's not necessarily part of aging. And if it is, we need to find out and we need to treat it. <laughs>